Hey, shake out the mouse, playboys. I'm back, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you three ways to build sexual tension with women. All right, three ways to build sexual tension with women. All right, let me start off by giving you an example. All right, imagine this is you and this is her, and the string is the tension. All right, this is the tension. Keep this tight. All right, this is the tension. Now, this has to be said because. There's just a large portion of men online looking for information on how to convince a girl to like them. So I have to start and I have to repeat this over and over again, but you cannot create, you cannot negotiate genuine attraction, right? You guys have to know this. You cannot negotiate genuine, genuine attraction. What that means is a girl has to be genuinely attracted to you on her own. There's no words or or um maybe a way of, way of dressing you could influence that and attraction has to do with how she perceives your face if she thinks you're cute if she, if she thinks you're hot if she thinks you are very good looking you know not much you could do about that all right you can't really change your face so keep that in mind you can't negotiate genuine attraction these are for girls who show you signs of attraction and just because a girl's attracted to you doesn't mean you're going to be successful, right? You have to know how to seduce a woman. And to know how to seduce a woman is to know how to build sexual tension with a woman, all right? So let's start. Here's three ways. Way number one. Distance, all right? Know how to keep healthy space with women, all right? Just like we're saying with the strings. I'm going to use them as an example again. If this is you... And this is the girl, and this is the tension. Every time you come together, tension disappears. Every time you separate, tension stays strong and tight, right? This is tension, not tension, right? So even when you spend time with a girl, spend some time, and then go away. That's tension. Let her think about you. Let her imagine you, right? You build tension that way. Space. Knowing how to properly use space. Some of you men are too smothering. You're constantly doing this. There's no tension. You're constantly doing this. There's no tension. Right? You don't want to constantly just do this either because this is not existent. You don't want to just be space. You want to make contact and then build tension. Make contact, build tension. All right? And that leads me to my next point. Two steps forward, one step back. When you're when you're in a situation with a girl, you like her, you're hanging out, you're over, she's over your house, you're over her house. What's going to happen is you're going to try to figure out a way to you know, um, progress things. <laughs> Thinking about this word hard. You're going to try to think of a way to progress things, all right? And two step forward, one step back is a great maneuver. But what that is, is this is you and the girl. You make an attempt to progress sexually with her. Right? There's no more tension because she knows exactly what you're doing. When you do this, let's say she pulls away. Right? It creates tension. That's fine. Let her pull away. Two steps forward, one step back means you make one step, she pulls away, then eventually you're going to make another step. All right? You could progress this way because you build tension. So the second time you take a run at her, you know, she knows that, hey, you can pull back. Right? But maybe you're going to go a little further this time. And that's what you should try to do. All right. Let's say, all right, for example, let's say girl's at your house. You guys watching a movie. All right. One of the scenes you decide to go over for a kiss. Let's say a kiss on the neck. Right. Let's say you start with a neck. She likes it a little bit. Let's say she pulls her neck away, which is this. Then you let her relax. Right. I like nothing happened. Go back to watching a movie, right? Let some time pass by, right? But then after a little while, you go back again, right? And this is two steps forward, one step back. You're taking a step forward and step back. Remember, this is where the tension is. Tension's in this, in the space, in the distance. And then when you break tension, you try to break tension to progress. And then you build the tension again. So every time that you break 
the tension, you're trying to move ahead. So two steps forward, one step back, all right? So distance, two steps forward, one step back. The last thing I'm going to say, and I don't need this anymore for that. You guys get, get to understand that. Be unpredictable. Be a mystery, right? You do not want to seem like a broken uh, recorder playing the same tape over and over again. Now, I don't mean behave differently. A lot of men say, oh, you got to be unpredictable, behave differently, behave differently. No, be pursuing something. You know how when you're unexpected and unpredictable by people when you're pursuing something and then you progress? Those progressions are not always obvious to people. For, I'll give you an example. When I started working out, I started training. Part of my progression was doing different exercises that I didn't do before. And I was posting my exercises online so girls who liked me and, and were interested in me could see it. And then little by little, I've seen different exercises. Now, the continued behavior is that I'm continuing working out. So the behavior is essentially the same, but the progression allows me to be unique and different. And from there, I went on for, uh, working out, doing different workouts to signing up to get my certificate to become a personal trainer, to working at a gym, to training at a gym. And people see this and it's like, oh, he's kind of, I don't know what he's going to do next. And maybe he's going to change gyms. Maybe he's going to become a celebrity trainer. All this from just starting out from working out. So be on your mission, be on your goal, be on your purpose. And that's how you're going to be unpredictable. Focus on yourself. Right? No one knows what you're going to do next if you're focused on you. It's like, what Kanye, what's Kanye going to do next? Who knows? Kanye may run for president. We don't know. He, he might run for, run for vice president. We don't know. He might want to run for Mayor, governor, he has a good shot at becoming um, in one of these office positions just because he's very famous, you know. And so one of the appeals to Kanye, for example, is what's going to come next? When the ZZ sneakers, what's going to come next? No one knows what's going to come next. That makes, he builds tension that way. And you could use that strategy to build tension with women, right? So let's recap. Knowing how to use distance and space, right? Two steps forward, one step back and being unpredictable. You do those things, you will build tension inevitably and, and create sexual desire with women, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, share this video because some men need to see this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.